Well, I'm now going to bring in uh, Joe Torrey, not the guy that manages the New York Yankees baseball team. We couldn't get him, so we got another Joe Torrey. I'm just kidding there. Uh, Joe is the uh, CEO of uh, Intensified Digital, which is one of Stephen Sadler's creations. Uh, we were going to have Stephen on the show, but he got tied up, so we got his CEO instead. How are you doing today, Joe? I'm doing well, and uh, thanks for having me on. I'm a Joe Torrey, not the not Joe Not the Torrey. Joe Torrey, right, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, when I saw your name, there, I, I, that's the first time I met him was I talked to him on the phone this morning. So, uh, But anyway, yeah, so let's start off with uh, kind of talking about, well, Stephen's into so many things, as we were discussing this morning. Seems like every time I talk to Stephen, he has a new project. So talk a little bit about Intensified Digital. I know you explained it to me this morning, but now you got a live audience. Explain it to them. Sure. And uh, I think, as you know, Steve has been involved in a lot of things. Uh, he's been really he's really broken ground from a, from a technology and from a from a. Um, a social marketing perspective, uh, I think that engineering mindset, together with uh, with software development capabilities, has enabled him to to uh, unravel some of the algorithms associated with social social marketing, and uh, and enables you know uh, really enables amplification of messaging uh, things that are algorithmically favorable. So what we are, we really are a digital amplification or digital digital engagement platform. We're not a social platform. We're uh, web services and social social uh, platform agnostic. And what we really do, what we like to say, is we enable digital freedom. Right, the idea that you can protect your content, you can protect your digital footprint. It's private. It's secure. It belongs to you and. Uh, and you can deploy that your messaging to any social platform, and at the same time, that process can be a kludgy process on both sides for both influencers and those running digital campaigns. It streamlines the business process. So it's kind of a super content management platform. It is. What it really allows you to do is to um, create uh, by when you create a user account, you can set up a a client account or uh, a personal account. You can uh, create campaigns, manage those campaigns. Campaigns are made up of posts. So you can plan your messaging, schedule the release of your messaging, and add uh, followers or uh, advocates in to whom you'd like to distribute that message or who you'd like to have engage with that messaging so that they can amplify your messaging and help broaden your digital footprint, right? We're kind of the 401k or electronic health records of uh, of social marketing and uh, you know i think it's pretty clear that um, the uh, by now everybody's pretty familiar with in, what influencer marketing is and, and people's minds go to a certain place when they think of that but really the fastest growing segment in social marketing uh, is that micro and nano influencer segment and the reason being that while they may have smaller audiences they drive higher levels of engagement because of their genuineness, right? Their authenticity, their subject matter expertise, their credibility as a result. And so um, this platform really allows you to take, take those advocates and point them wherever you'd like. Yeah, I've uh, done a few campaigns myself where we've paid influencers to mention what we're doing. Uh, in some cases, uh, these are influencers with millions of people. But you got to wonder when you have millions of people following you, how many of them are really looking at what you're saying, right? You know? Sure, sure. And and that's really one of the challenges, right? I mean, companies companies spend a lot of money developing their brand messaging, right? Uh, uh, seeking to build their brand image. Um, the traditional way of, of doing influencer marketing is to engage an influencer. And oftentimes what you're doing is you're throwing, throwing that stuff over the wall and you're leaving your brand messaging in the hands of the influencer. And their message may or may not be consistent with the brand image or the brand messaging you've developed, right? Uh -huh. So in, in the case of a, a platform like ours, what we're enabling you to do is create your messaging, optimize your messaging, schedule the release of that messaging, um, and and share that with those who will either engage with it by liking, commenting on it, or resharing it, or or posting it to their own own social platforms, to their own social accounts, right? 
um, where others can engage with it. And by doing that, what you're, what you're doing is one, you're preserving the brand messaging. Two, you are, you're really in control of your followers. You can say, you know what, uh, this algorithm isn't as favorable to me as perhaps another social platform's algorithm may be on an emerging platform, and I can direct those followers there. Um, and you're building that broader digital footprint, right? I mean, it's, it really comes down to the network effect. I like to refer to it as the, the Alice's Restaurant movement of social marketing, right? Two becomes four, becomes eight, becomes 16. And pretty soon you get yourself a movement. So does that mean Arlo Guthrie does your theme song then or, or what? No? No, happy to have him do it though. Oh, okay. Good old Arlo. <laughs> you can get anything what, you want. <laughs> yeah. Accepting Alice, of course. All right. So let's talk a little bit about, uh, so you got talked about the influencer market. Um, what's the value proposition then? What, what, what would you say that is? Well, and I think especially now the value proposition is strong. When we first developed the platform, what we sought to do was streamline, streamline the flow for those who are managing digital campaigns and those who are the influencers associated with those campaigns. And that oftentimes can be kludgy. So one of our value propositions is the streamlining of that process, making it easier on both sides. But over this course of this last year, I think we've seen a real sea change, right? We've all all been able to witness the the kind of power and influence that social platforms have for whether whether it was intended or not, they really have become kind of the public scare, square. And they're the there are the chosen place to go and mount campaigns to market your products or services or causes, right? And um, so what our value proposition is really uh, has become the, the ability to make that stuff portable, right? There are many different um, social platforms. Uh, they are in different states of evolution. There are emerging platforms. The ability to say, you know what? Um, it, my campaign isn't as effective on this platform as I might like it to be, or it may have, have been, my content may have been depromoted or it may have been shut down. I want to take and point it somewhere else and take my followers along with that, right? So, I mean, you know that if you build a digital footprint on a social platform, that digital footprint, your follower base belongs to that platform. Your content resides there and your followers reside there. Um, and what we, what we envisioned was a place where you could have a central repository for that that's secure, it's private, your followers reside there. And if you want to take your followers and point them somewhere else, you can. So what was the move behind this? I know Stephen always has an agenda. Things build on, build on, build on. He, you know, he's already got except so many other things that he's developed. So where did this come from? So I, I think, as you know, um, you know, St like I said, Steve's really been uh, very deeply engaged in this for, for quite a while. And uh, back in 2005 already, he began looking for ways to effectively market, you know, his 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 businesses and in the process kind of, uh, you know, unraveled some of these algorithms that drive drive social marketing. And that was emerging at the time. Right. And at the time, influencer marketing wasn't really a category, but it's grown incredibly rapidly since then, right? And uh, it really what this represents is, is the culmination of all those learnings. Um, and in previous iterations, uh, the platform Steve had, Steve and his teams had developed were really, um, they required subject matter expertise to drive, right? They were very powerful, um, but they required uh, um, knowledge to be able to utilize them effectively and, and not misuse them. Um, and he actually, you know, we actually hold the patent for uh, posting and sharing of knowledge and content, which I think is incredibly, incredibly significant. And um, when I came aboard in uh, 2019, we began, we had collaborated previously, but we began talking again in 2018. And when I came aboard in 2019 and invested in the enterprise, I said, you know what, we we, and this was Steve's vision, you know, as well as the idea of how can we make this simpler for everyone? How can we take what we know and package that up in, in something that's accessible and easy for people to use that's going to represent, that's going to recognize the cornerstones of digital marketing, which are content, 
frequency and influence, right? Every social platform operates according to those, those three corner on those three cornerstones. You need good content. It's got to be genuine content, native or, or authentic content. You have to have a sufficient amount of that content to continue to feed, feed the engine. And then you need to have a, you have to release that content onto platforms at a frequency that's effective or significant enough to trigger the algorithm. And then finally, you need to have engagement with that, right? And so we've built all of that into this platform. The, the, if you simply, if, if a user takes an account and follows the methodology, one, it's kind of going to organize their thinking. Two, it's going to, you know, the methodology is going to observe those three cornerstones. And three, it's going to provide verification of, um, of engagement, right? There is a, there are metrics associated with it. Yeah, I understand that some of this stuff can be really complicated, complicated for the uninitiated. I mean, a lot of content creators just are not computer whizzes, right? So how is yours different? Is it easy to use? It is easy to use. It's, it's, it's very user friendly. It's intuitive. Um, I would tell you that, uh, you know, if you, if a, somebody went and, and explored the platform, what they'd see is a very simple user interface. Uh, most things can be accessed using the green plus sign. Most things are, are self-explanatory. The one thing that the user has to provide is, is content, right? And, and obviously, optimization of that content, some understanding of hashtags and the hashtags that are most meaningful to the user. So you can create that content, you can take and refine the content, you can have collaborators who can, you know, look at that and say, oh, let's tweak it this way or that way. You can schedule it and you can, and the nice thing is you could sit down at one time and kind of put your brain into organizing that and saying, here's the campaign I want to run. Here's the 10 posts that make up that campaign. Uh, here's the order in which I want to have them released. And here's the folks I want to release that content to so they can engage with it. All right. And so let's talk a little bit more about, uh, I asked you this morning about pricing. Give me the ranges. I know you, what you told me, this is the low end, the high end and what you get kind of thing. Yeah. So actually we have, uh, we have an introductory package on our individual account pricing, which is nine ninety nine a month. All of our account levels have, uh, have a 30 day free trial. So a user can go there, create an account, use it for 30 days. Um, and um, then we have tiered pricing and the tiered pricing, it's a, it's a software as a service platform subscription, right? So what you, uh, what you do is you create an account um, and you pick the level that you want. Uh, an individual account allows you to set up one campaign with up to uh, 10 influencers attached to the campaign. Next level up account allows you to have three collaborators um, on that campaign who can add content, edit content, and you can have up to 25 influencers on a campaign. And then our, our uh, professional pricing, our business pricing, pardon me, allows up to, uh, up to uh, 25 uh, or up to uh, 10, 10 collaborators and um, up to uh, uh, 100 influencers on a campaign. All right. Uh, sounds very intriguing. I haven't had a chance to, other than look at the website quickly, haven't had a chance to try anything out. I might do that myself just to see how it works. Sure. Uh, if uh, folks want to get more information, I'm sure you will provide that. How, how do, besides, go, could they just go to the website and sign up? Is, is that basically is the best it? way to do that? They can go to intensifydigital.com. Uh, and uh, register, create an account, and uh, feel free to uh, play around with that account. If they need to contact someone for support, there's contact information there. If it's a company that wishes to contact uh, uh, us, they can contact me at joe at intensifydigital.com. All right. Well, we're still waiting for our other guests to arrive. Any other points that you want to talk about uh, we, while we wait? Uh, anything that I didn't talk to you or ask you about? No, I, I really can't think of anything. I think one of the things that has struck me in this when we launched it was uh, the different potential applications for it. We really hadn't contemplated all those. I think it's, it's like so many other technologies where you contemplate a particular application or use of it, but you really don't, um, you really don't think of everything that it could be used for. And as we've engaged with clients uh, 
agencies, large companies, individuals, causes, campaigns. What we found out is that um, you know there are many potential uses. Uh, we talked to a large enterprise uh, customer, a very large uh, manufacturer, an OEM that uh, looked at it and said, could we take and use this to disseminate information to our field teams uh, as a way of making sure that they're up to date on programs and things like that, and then enable them to take that content and, and distribute it amongst their client bases. Um, we've done some work with some medical enterprises where they wanted to get information out on on uh, different things that were emerging in light of the, the you know, the, the last year's pandemic. And the nice thing about this is we're, you're able to do very targeted campaigns, right? And we know that a rifle shot is often more effective than a shotgun shotgun approach on this. Additional four-year students love Lawrence Technological University's thriving campus life, but LTU has always met non-traditional students' needs too. Lawrence Tech offers over 100 degree and certificate programs that can get adult students started or back on track. And most of our classes are conveniently offered evenings at our beautiful Southfield campus or online so you can balance your social, family, and work life even while you power up your career. Lawrence Tech, where blue devils dare.